so sql server reporting services so in this this section is a com uh, this section is a dedicated for introduction so introduction to srs so today our agenda is uh, we should know the answers of uh, four answers of these four questions so what is a sql server reporting services what can you do with uh, what can you do with srs reports what components does srs use and you use the srs so what is a sql server reporting service SQL Server Reporting Service is a Microsoft Enterprise Reporting Platform. So it's a Microsoft dedicated uh, reporting platform. So it was included. It is included in a BA suit, like in um, BA suit, in Microsoft Business Intelligence suit. So along with the SQL Server Integration Services and the SQL Server Reporting Services. Not only uh, not, not only it is supports for uh, Microsoft Business Intelligence suit, it is also flexible with uh, flexible to, uh, to access the data from a different sources. <coughs> it, it, it will take the source, it will take the data as a source from other different platforms also. So after the after getting the data, so it will just reports and it will just create, distribute, and manage the manage the reports uh, by using the SSRS language to exhibit the to exhibit some picture to the end user. So what kind of reports SSRS uses? Uh, these are the sample reports, like you know. Uh, if you say, if, uh, suppose if, if for CEO, if you are CEO of a particular organization, so by looking into the data, like uh, by looking into the table data model, you will not get any idea or you will not get any understanding about our growth of business or uh, even loss of business, how much revenue you are getting without, uh, from your business. So, so we will not get any kind of uh, things. So if you want to get a good idea, the best way to uh, represent in is pictures, picture format. So the picture is nothing but reports. So reports like this, this is the one sample report, monthly story metric, like you know, this in order quantity, total DC quantity, DC days in stock, available quantity like this. In August this month, this month, this month of, uh, this month, you know, this month of inventory was happened, in September this month of inventory happened like this. So if, if you say some uh, sales, like you know, August this month of, uh, this month of availability and this month of total quantity like this. Mm -hmm. so if, you, if, you, if you represent in a pie chart mode, so each color represents one uh, one month. Like this is August, this is September, this is October. Like this. So if you see like this, obviously we'll get a good idea. Okay, this much of uh, growth uh, I'm having, this much of losses I'm having. So in this month I got this much of loss. So in this month I got this much of revenue. So there is one proverb. Uh, there is a one proverb in uh, English language. You know, uh, a picture is more 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 than enough to more than enough saying a uh, uh, thousand lens of words. So uh, instead of saying a thousand lens of words, if you show one one picture, automatically the user will get uh, understanding about what is going on, or uh, what 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 is hap what has happened, what is uh, like you know, so some, so this kind of a questions will be satisfied by the end users. So these are the sample reports. By using by using the SRS, we will create this kind of a sample table, sample reports. So SSRS report, uh, uh, just, just now I said SSRS, SSRS will lack uh, different kinds of uh, sources. So while at the taking, uh, while at the, uh, while at the accepting the uh, different sources, so SSRS will mainly lead, mainly deal with the SQL language and the H language. So we can, we can create the reports using the SQL, uh, SQL language as well as the MDX. MDX language is nothing but SSIS. So SSIS supports MDX language. So once the data is available to the report, the developer can use the report items. So well, once the data is uh, available to the report with, the, with these two languages, so there are inbuilt, uh, there are inbuilt, inbuilt properties, there are inbuilt report items in the SSRS, that is nothing but a text box to display data in a different uh, formats. So data to if we want to get a if we want to data to be sorted, we can sort the data. If we want to increase the font size, we can increase the font size. So all the all the all the modifications or all the beautifications will be done. And if you want to represent the charts, maps, the, the uh, gauges, base controls, so this could also this kind of uh, things also done uh, possible with SSX. So to create SSRS reports, uh, SSRS provided two report databases. One is the Business Intelligence Development Studio, which uh, we, are, uh, we are very much familiar with from uh, the SSIS also. And then uh, another one is the report builder. So report builder is like you know, uh, it's like you know, it's power users or uh, hello, hello. hi, hi, Subhash. <laughs> yeah. 
then national report server. It hosts SSR reports. A Windows service and a web service handle the function, report functionality, including the rendering reports, listing report items, and scheduling the reports and more. So once you have share, once once the report is the report is available in your report database, through the report server only we can uh, see the uh, all the reports in the web service. The web service like you know like in a Google Chrome. Uh, uh, i.e. Datamic Explorer, Mozilla, similar. So the report server will contain all the reports and it will display you when you click the uh, respect to URL. So URL, based on the URL, we will get the, all the reports in the way is. So report manager. Report manager is a web application interface. So to the report server, administrators can use this tool to manage access and the location of the reports. Developer can deploy reports and set up sub uh, subscriptions to deliver reports to users. So this is like you know administration thing. So once you created the report, so developers can deploy using the report manager. Uh, and, uh, using the report manager, they can deploy the reports to the report server. Then uh, they, if you want to, they, if you want to set the subscriptions, they will they will set the subscription and uh, tell back to report the uh, end users. So these three are the most important report database and report server and report manager. So who is this SSRS? <coughs> All the organization, all the all, all levels of organization can utilize the reporting as such. So analyst, manager, CEO reports to see the company information and the different analysis, which will help them uh, perform the jobs more quickly and accurately. So unless and until you, unless and until you know the growth of a business, uh, uh, your job is not good place. You know. So if you are the CEO, so you know, you should know what is the revenue uh, requirement uh, it makes. So what are the uh, how many number of sales that is happening in one particular area? So this kind of a things so we will represent with the, with the help of uh, SSRS reports. So different uh, not not only this person, there are so many other persons can be benefited with the uh, uh, SSRS. So different parties can share the analysis of uh, one person rather than data remaining in uh, solely department. SSRS reports provide a variety of options to enhance the report consumes and experience. Not only this uh, high-level people, so even even uh, even with uh, even the normal people uh, are, are just uh, developers, the DBAs, DBAs. So they will also use the SSRS reports. So we will see how how much is benefited. So first scenario is the real-time user scenario is like uh, dashboards. Dashboards, you know, dashboards will represent the number of reports are fitted into one place. So it will show the it will, it will show you the uh, business. Uh, Processing of your business or performance of your business in one particular area. So there is nothing but a dashboard. Dashboard is called. You can you can get the idea by looking into the dashboard. It is just one particular area containing so many reports. So there, <coughs> while displaying the report, we are just providing the some KPI key key performance indicator also. By looking into the dashboards, all the C-level people will uh, executive level people, managers, CEOs. Uh, so many so many people are getting benefited with the dashboards. The, the main purpose of this uh, dashboard is to get uh, for the for the analyst and um, managers and the CEO, CEOs only. Then uh, ad hoc analysis. Ad hoc analysis means like you know there are the business analysts analyst spend majority of their time working with the data. They pull the data, they pull data from a variety of places, manage the data together, and they run calculations on the intent of providing answers to the business questions. So what the ad hoc analysis is of uh, the, the report already was uh, created. Created ad hoc analysis is nothing but a report builder. Just to let you know, example is a report builder. So the report builder, all the reports are already created. So business analyst came into the business analyst came and uh, combined all these reports and performed some calculation. So they will then they will calculate. So okay, this much of uh, this much of uh, revenue is coming from this particular area. So this much of revenue is coming from this particular area. So we need to take an action where the revenue is low, where the revenue is. So this kind of uh, uh, questions will, this, this kind of actions will come out of this uh, after this era of analysis. Era of analysis is nothing but predefined. Pre by using the predefined reports, we are just analyzing the data. So if you want to report, if you want to export the reports, uh, we can export the report. We can export the reports to different different format also, word format, PDF format. So Excel format, you can uh, export to that option, that uh, that format. Also. So scenario is administration. So this is uh, this is mostly useful for uh, DBAs. 
so uh, the dvs you know, so they should have to they should take care of all all, all the security uh, security related things like you know, who is running as a reports so who is accessing these reports and the while running the reports what is the data, what is the performance of the data this and how much time it is executing how much time it will take the, to execute the reports so all these things will uh, will be monitored by the uh, administration department that is nothing but a dp <coughs> So in this scenario, uh, we are using the uh, SSRS to give the to give the good idea about uh, what is actually going on. So this is all about um, uh, introduction to the SSRS. Then we are the same. Then we will move to the basic uh, base uh, other end reports like you know. So in this part, I am going to cover the uh, basics of SSRS, what is the data source, data set, uh, SSRS expressions, report formatting. So this is my main environment. I am going to create one new solution. So I am going to create a plan solution for uh, So the, just now we have created one uh, solution file. So uh, we are just adding a new project to the solution file. So uh, if you are trying to add, you can uh, see this kind of uh, this kind of window even in the previous while while, while we are working with the size also. So previously we have selected integration services project. So so at the time this is the only available this uh, this thing in uh, integration services. So we don't have any data kind of. Uh, so here, we have a well. Uh, Narendra, can I ask you one question? Yeah. Uh, is it feasible to have one solution for a different kind of uh, report? Sorry, sorry. Can you can you can you repeat that question? Uh, is it feasible to have only one solution for a different kind of report? Like, yeah, I have yeah, a, let's say uh, a dashboard report, uh, one bonus and ranking report, and let's auditor report. So yes. can I place yes. them all? Can I place all these reports under one solution? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So, so mm. what would you suggest? Uh, uh, this is a feasible uh, solution, or we'll have the different uh, solution for each one. So, like you know, here the hierarchy is running. So, one solution can have so many projects. One project can have so many reports. Yeah, okay. but if we if we lose that solution file, mm. uh, so instead of having one solution, uh, if we have three different solutions for three different reports, so um, this, in this situation, uh, what is the uh, correct way to have the solution? Yes, and let us suppose, yeah, suppose uh, in your project, uh, let us say there are uh, four modules. Okay, okay. customer module, uh, physician module. Payment module and the delivery module. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let us say these are these are the four different modules. So mm -hmm. you are going to different. Uh, you are going to create a ten reports for each module. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm -hmm. how many number of reports will we get out of this uh, SSRS quarterly reports, right? Yeah. So first of all, first of all, we are, we are going to create a reports for customer module. Mm -hmm. So if the on the customer module reports is, is available in one place. Mm -hmm. So it will be easy to you to debug, uh, to execute, uh, to verify whether the, uh, to verify the reports if there is anything goes wrong. So all the reports are related to the physician model will be in one wonder uh, in the at one place. It will be easy for the developers as well as the leads also. So if you create a, for each for if you create a, one solution for each and every report, the number of folders in your case will be increased. 
there is no there is no benefit uh, you will get out of this kind of uh, mechanism so mm-hmm. all the reports will be co- will be comes under customer uh, customer module will be in uh, one particular project this particular project will be in one solution mm-hmm. so if you, if you, if you send it at any time after the development we are moving all this uh, reports to the production uh, so at that time instead of moving so many solutions file it just moving only one solution file so one solution file will interact with any one so one solution file since because uh, uh, solution file is having a project so project will having a module uh, their reports mm-hmm. so in that way solution file is equal that is a simple, just a simple hierarchy if you are working with uh, ssis all the packages will be con- uh, will be in one particular uh, one project so all the projects will be in uh, one solution file okay something like that you know so what could i say like uh, in a data in a sql server mechanism so in one particular server so many databases will be there in one particular database so many tables will be there so all the tables are uh, mapped to the one database all the database one map to the one server like yeah. in the solution solutions projects inside the projects so reports uh, packages this may, oh. this hierarchy will be there Okay. so it's not it's completely our call uh, right now so no one is uh, telling that uh, you should use only one uh, solution file for one project or all the files for only one solution file so it's completely our call but uh, you know in uh, our uh, real time standards so mm-hmm. developing to develop our standards to, to satisfy the, that kind of standards so we are, we are following this mechanism that's it okay okay yeah <laughs> so previously we have seen uh, we have worked with integration services project by selecting this this type of so but now we are have we are seeing three icons here report support project report model project <laughs> report uh, so, so, report support project which are report model project report support project so report model project is like you know is a report builder so we will cover at the last session so reports what is the report support project which are and the report support project so the process of project wizard is like you know it, uh, it's all it's all predefined things will be there just will uh, will will provide the data set to that uh, this uh, report of project automatically report will be created you don't need to you don't need to mention the styles so sizes sorting so all kind of things this is just, just a basic kind of um, this just a basic kind of uh, reports it will create report process of project wizard will create a very simple reports there is no much uh, styling uh, and uh, there is no much styling and uh, actions to be taken in reports and so forth but to get to get to get uh, started with the srs so everybody start starts with the report for some projects so by developing the reports everybody will choose the report for the project only so this are which will help you to the tool uh, about the what kind of what kind of a tool it is how can we use the tool so this kind of a basic understanding we provide by the report for project so actual magic will be in the report server project so first of all we will uh, create one report using the server report report server project wizard then we will move to the report server project so so to create a uh, create a report using the report server project wizard select this one and then rename the project and then this on report is up Like this. It will take some time. Whenever you created the report for the report wizard, automatically it will ask this question. So the report for the report wizard will help you create a report with this wizard. It can so nothing but your your you can you you can do the following. Select a data source from which to retrieve the data. Design a query to execute as the data source. Choose the type of the report you want to create. Specify the basic layout of the report. Specify the formatting of the report. That's it. You don't. You, don't, you cannot mention any you know, styles, uh, uh, sorting, formatting. So so many so much of formatting. You cannot do that. You cannot give an expressions. So something like that. You cannot do that with the report. The report, the report is that. So if we go with the report server, report server for it, then we will do all the magic and kind of um, new things in the uh, report, uh, report server for it. Right now we are dealing with the report for it, which are only, so we, we, just, we can do this, this following steps only. So then I do any other step other than these uh, five steps. 
So we'll go to the next. So here uh, we should provide uh, what is the data source name and uh, data source name is completely clear. What? So here <coughs> I'm just doing adventure box. Adventure box is my database name. So you can give whatever whatever the data source you can give. So uh, actually in the development uh, in the governments, in the real time governments, so data source will be named with like this DS. Initial uh, the prefix will be DS means data data source. So here we need to uh, we need to connect to that uh, database. So whether it is a Microsoft SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Azure, Microsoft Parallel Data Warehouse, OLA DB, Analysis Services, or okay, or so this will support this this many number of uh, data sources. So here just we are uh, we are just working with SQL Server database. So uh, so go to the edit. Edit will uh, take you the database connection. Edit. So what is our database? Like, you know, you can just put a dot here. So here you can select the database adventure box. So database comes, go to the test connection and the test it whether the connection is correct. So test connection succeeded. Okay. Then click on okay. So automatically the data source is like you know, you can see here dot dot is here. So dot is nothing but a local server. And the initial catalog is nothing but as I, as I said in the previous session, initial catalog is always there in a database. Then go to the next. So here we you need to just provide the query. So what is the query you are uh, using for uh, the build a report? So here my query is so this is my query. I'm just removing uh, comments. Okay. Then go. So here uh, it will ask me the report type, whether it is a tabular or matrix. So if you go to the matrix, the report will be like this. If you go to the tabular, the report will be like this. So I just go selecting the uh, tabular. So here, what are the uh, what are the fields you want to show in the report? So this is the uh, this is the these are these are the different uh, areas to move the uh, fields. So here I'm just uh, based on the order date. Grouping the order date, I'm showing the account number as well as the total total account. So then uh, for this, so if you want to if you want to account number move to this area, so it was already selected, right? Then go to the details. It comes to here. So if you want to move the order date to the grouping area, then we need. So if you want to go to the details area, so so here the columns are selected. So to which page they it needs to be sent, it will be sent like in this order. So once you have selected. So the mode of this project, the mode of this report is I'm uh, grouping the each and every order date and we're displaying the uh, account number and total with, uh, that has come that was uh, came out of that date. So, and uh, here is you know my table layout is like a step -per. step -per means you know uh, like uh, one by one, one by one, one by one. So it's the block. So if you go for a block. Like this, so it is usually not looks good. So I'm, I'm going for a step layout and including subtotals and a drill down also. And it will it will it will have a drill down also. So then so, so state model forest something like this. We can we can uh, style we can give the style whatever we want. So basically we don't uh, we don't uh, do much uh, kind of style here. Yeah? Just we we go with the whatever it is, whatever it is. So this is in so deploy uh, deployment requests uh, local host reports okay so report name is uh, report being like uh, what what was in system sample report so it will create the report uh, in that way in that result. So the support report is like you know, sample. If you go to the this is the examples and the report wizard. So based on the report wizard, we have selected this category, then it will come to here. Sample report. So here. So this is the this is our report. So if you want to preview our report, it will display like this. 
So order date. Based on the order date, like you know, we have uh, we have uh, selected like a drill down option. So one particular date is grouped, and uh, all the values inside one date is like this. So, this. so it, you can you can you can see the uh, sum of total values in the total view column. So this is nothing but if you go to the this this one like this. So three, the, all these values are summed and displayed here. So these are the different account numbers that will available in, on this data. So each and every date is grouped is grouped as a one uh, one one group and displaying the data like this. So if you expand only, you can see the data actual data. So for this date, this much of let us say for this date, this much of revenue we are getting here. So if you want to see the details of uh, account numbers and to, uh, actual totals. Can just expand this button. So if you expand this button, this is a, this is just a, just a basic report. So using a report itself. So we uh, we have not just done any magic kind of things. We have just uh, we have just given your input uh, input query to the report wizard. Automatically input wizard uh, this report wizard will create a report. So this is how we can run a report wizard. Then uh, so for this training only we are going to add a one new one new project. There is nothing but reports. So uh, as of now, we have seen uh, reports are project. Then go to the report support project. <coughs> so report support project is. Uh, we should name this uh, report. So training reports. Okay. So the environment will be open, and uh, our uh, our uh, project name will be is training reports. You can see. So for our solution, this is our training. We are we are having a example on report report wizard and uh, report training reports. Okay. Then uh, right now we have not any uh, we don't have any reports are uh, existing in our project. So just you know, we, are, we, go, we are going to create a new just add a new item. So if we if we add, if we click that button, it will uh, comes to here. Then we click here. So so first. Report. <clears throat> so whenever you create a report, this automatically you will get uh, this area. So this is nothing but a design page where we design the reports, and this is nothing but a preview page. Whatever we have created, it will preview in this in this area. Uh, then go to so so this is nothing but a report data. So report data is nothing but what are the report item, data items that were uh, available to create uh, to generate that report. So we are having a built-in page. So parameters, images, data sources, data sets, something. Like that. So toolbox available. What are the what are the different types of uh, items that uh, helping with while uh, creating a reports. So if you want to create, if you want to write something, you can write in a text box. So if you want to go to the tab, the table format, matrix format, rectangle list, image, sub report, charts. So whatever, whatever, whatever we, whatever report, based on our requirement, so we will just work on this. So first of all, uh, to create any report, we must uh, know about uh, data sources and data sets. So uh, here is shared data sources. So here data sets, data sources are uh, uh, two different kind of data sources. One is a shared data source and another one is the embedded um, data source. Shared data source means so shared data source. If you create a data source in the shared mode, so it will it will available all it will avail, available all the reports that were created in this project. If you create an embedded embedded uh, data source means so it will just uh, it will just available only for that particular report, not entire project. So most of the cases we are going with the shared data sources only, and uh, the same or shared data sets also working with the same mechanism. Shared data set means so if you want to if you want to repeat the data set to so many reports, you can uh, mention in the shared data set. Otherwise, so probably for each and every report, data set is in, but data data source uh, same. So we are using the same data source, and the inside the data source query is different. Query is nothing but our data set. So I will show you so. 
first of all, we need to create the data source for the report. So where actually the data comes, that is nothing but a data source. Here actually, add a new data source. So automatically this window will open. So yes, uh, I'm providing a DS and DS. Okay. So this is nothing but uh, uh, our data source name. So just we are clicking. So say like two steps. The test connection connection is created. Then we come out here. So the data source is created. So we need to map this data source to our report. Okay. So project level data source is created, but report level data source is not created. So for this data source, for this purpose, we are creating only a data source. So if the data source is already created, then only we will add the data source. So this is an RPD report data source, right? So <coughs> so this is nothing but um, yeah. we don't need to this. So right now we are having the shared data source, so we're just we're just consuming the data source. Okay. So report data source will be again if, if it is a number of data source, we provide an uh uh which type of data source and what is the connection state. Otherwise we are having the shared data source, then we will provide it. So operation this we will uh, provide a data set based on the only based on the data set only we will uh, get input to the report. So for this I think we can go So data set. So go to the data add data set. Right click if you right click on this, this window will look open like this. So this is nothing but uh, uh, here that shared data set. If there is any shared data set, we can just uh, share this this share this. Otherwise, so obviously in the data set uh, is added matter to the each individual report. So here just uh, if you if you, if you say like this, each data set embedded in my report. You are getting like a data source. From which data source we, I need to run this query? So, report data source. We need to run this. Uh, we need to select this option. So, we, first of all, we need to give the data source data set name. So, RP2. Okay. So, this is the data set for my report. So, that is why report uh, data set is RPT. This will be mentioned here. Then, coming to Query type here, yeah, so text table stored by this. So most of the most of the situations we are um, using text at the stored by there. So from later fix from the next sections, I will show you how how to work with text stored by there. Right now, as of now, we will uh, deal with the text only. So this is actually our uh, our actual query. So as you observe the query area. So here I'm uh, displaying the account number, order date, total yield. From two different tables, sales dot sales order header and uh, sales dot customer on as well as dot customer ID equal to C dot customer ID. So based on the customer ID, I'm I'm getting the, this data. So here I'm putting a condition where the order date is like you know start date and end date. So start date and end date means here uh, here you you can set the parameters. So parameters to the stored process something like. So here you are you are having a parameter. So by seeing the query, you can understand that you need to pass the uh, parameters to the process. So without the parameters, first we will see the query. Then we will see the parameters. We will see. Okay. So right, we are in a query mode. So fields. What are the fields we are getting? These are the fields, right? So options. You know there are a lot of different options. So uh, actually we are not working with this collation with case sensitivity and so many things. We are not dealing with this. So filters uh, in the later in your session I will explain how filters are working. So parameters. So if there is any parameters, that will be populated here. So if you want to add a parameter, you can add parameters here. So right now we are not, we are not dealing with the parameters yet. So we are just having okay. this one. Just keep on working. So automatically, data set created. These are the number of columns. Okay. So these are the number of columns. Then we just want to display this report in a, in a table format. Just like this. 
So drag the table and the year to place here. So for each and if you if you if you provide the uh, no, we need to provide the columns to this report. So here one number, order date, totally. So this is how allocated columns are uh, report. Okay. So if you run the report, so this is how uh, simple report will be created based on the settings available. So if you go to the preview, like up to up to this. We get the data like this in a very simple format. You don't know what is the report is having, what is, what is the purpose of this report. So you don't know anything in the report. So then go to the data. So it will just it will just looks very simple and common. So we don't need it. So yes, first of all, column names like you know, column all the column names, all the column names will. Uh, we need to highlight this. So, if you want to highlight the columns, just select all the three columns. Click on OK. So, if you want to go correct colors, then go then give different different colors. So, this is this is how we can provide the colors. Okay. If you see the report, it will look like this. Okay. So here. Uh, Actually, the, this particular query will return uh, if you go to the report set. So, query is like this. If you run the query in the CPU server management studio, There are actually 31,406 31, records. So, if you want to see that much of the, that many number of records in a report, there was give a good idea. So, for this purpose, I'm just grouping my, I'm just grouping some data in the report. So, if you want to, if you want to apply the grouping option, so all the aggregate functions will be available. So, here you can see that at the bottom of this uh, report area. So we have the column groups and as well as the row groups. Obviously, we are going for uh, in most of the scenarios we are going for the row groups only. So if you click the drop up, it will ask like the add group, add total, delete group, group properties. So go to the group and parent group. So here just some uh, I'm adding the parent group. I'm just I just want to display the uh, group by the order date. So add a group header and the group footer. Both will be both will be added. Okay, then click on. Okay, so like this. So previously you, you see 31,406 records, but he, after running this report, you can see like this. So this is all. So for this, previously has seen all the records are coming uh, like uh, like uh, one one particular table form. But you know this this all the these records are related to this this date. So these all the records are related to this something. So okay, now we are looking into the report in a very good way. But uh, I want to I want to display the total sums. So here you can see for this date, this many number of values are there. I want to display the total sums. So here I want to see the total of all these uh, values. So for this expressions will come into the picture. So expressions will do the uh, whatever the operations we want to do. So that will that will uh, that will uh, operate that operations will happen to the columns and reduce the reduce the output <coughs> performing the calculation at runtime and gives to the display in the report in the display in the result of the report. Like this here, I want to I want to give one one particular expression. Like you know, I want to I want to add these totals. Whenever the order order report is generated based on the order date, how many number of orders are created on the particular date? So I want to sum all these orders and uh, and display the total here. <coughs> For this, uh, we should write a simple expression. Just 
Jesús Dios.
So this leaves good. Then uh, go to the preview. We just let you know this is a sales by customer. So sales by customer like the order date. This is order date and uh, these are the account numbers and the date and these are the values. These are the values and uh, this is the total value. And so, so how how do we pull the data uh, data from the table just by the store prop? Uh, so you yeah. wrote the store. I, yes, either either the store procedure or uh, query. So in the in the rate and scenarios, we are working with the uh, store procedures only. But our data we want to display in the report. We should mention in the store procedure, and we will just call the store procedure and check the report. Ninety nine percent scenarios will be ninety nine percent. Uh, Scenarios will be satisfied with the store position only. No one known is writing for police, but for the sake of uh, report creations, uh, examples, and just telling you how to create a query also. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, this is a, this is like you no know, just uh, cost report. So we will just, we don't have any parameters. We're just we're just getting the data uh, with this uh, from this only. So we we'll just. Save this, save this report and we will create another report with some more advanced functions. Then we we'll go to the create items. So then uh, just, this is the first, first report. Uh, then I will already we have created first report, then uh, I will name it the basic report. Okay, so just read the basic report. The same wizard will come and uh, the query also. So the right now we have got any, but if you go to the solution explorer, the data source will be available for these reports. So this report data data fields are looking empty because you know the report data is is completely allocated for this uh, report. So right now we don't have any such source. Just so. new data source. Okay, this is a shared collection. Shared data source is having a DS data also. Okay, then click on OK in the original data set. So, data set will use an ambulate data set. This is having like uh, one minute. To the query. So here, as we have, uh, uh, previously, we have removed the parameters option. Right, right now, we are we are going to create we are going to create a report with the parameters option. So order date between the start date and end date. So previously, we have seen uh, 31,000 reports. So to restrict that many number of records in the report, we are just providing a parameters. Parameters will restrict the results of your particular report. So before that, we need to select the uh, data source. So this is the data source. And you go to the query. Right now, you are not worried. So, data set name is new data set. And the fields are as usual previous fields. And the options you don't need anything. Just fill those in the field. So, start it. So, parameters based on the query, it will populate it here. So, we must provide the values to the parameters. So, here we need to provide parameters like this. So whatever the value provided in that uh, provided in the value option, it will take as a value to the parameter. Then the report will be displayed. So here, not started is then late. Okay. So also, so like you know, in the previous in the previous report. So so this is the previous report. If you see the report data set, if you see the report data. Data source will be available, data set will be available. But there are parameters is nothing but empty. So if we go to our test testing report, just now we have created the report. We are having the data set, data, data source, data set, and parameters also. Parameters will be available, will be here. Okay. So parameters option, uh, we need to understand these two values. So up arrow, down arrow. If you want to if you want to move the parameter down, then we take this option. If you want to uh, move up this parameter, this option. So if you want to remove the parameter, just click on it cross mark. So this is how we will work. For this only we are just creating a one text box. Sorry, one text box. So table table. Table. So creating select columns. Order text. 
certainly. Okay. So this is object one. So previously again. Good call. So we are just uh, grouping also there. So after that is a grouping value, group header group it will be added like this. So some of So if there is any problem in the expression, it will automatically uh, underlines with the red color one. Okay. So then uh, you can understand there is some language. So this is how we are just. Let me see the report. It will ask parameter. Previously, it, it previously it was not it was not asked the parameter. So that this parameter, I'm just going to this guy like this to go with to go So then after after giving the parameters, so report is like this. So for for that day only, we can see the report. Okay, then go to the design part. Then uh, we will add a report at the center. So this is the same report we have created previously. Previously we have given like that. So like this. Mm, preview. So in this case, forward up to the option. Like this. <clears throat> so by using that. So if you want to add uh, some more beautification to this uh, report, you can add uh, that beautification also. So what that is? So I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm just more, more, I'm just adding one more, more data, one more text box. Uh, here I'm just adding this expression. So we saw first on this. Between. And then and then okay. so 
So we can see. So can you we need to power. So like this, sales of the customers between 2000, uh, these are the start date and this is the end date. So we are just providing the tagline for this report like this. So this is not uh, looking good, so that's why we need to change this one. Just run like this and make this a bold. And if you want to take this, uh, if you want to change this expression color also, you can uh, color change the color like uh, green, I think. Okay, so you can see like this. Go to the button. And go to the list once again. Like this. This is the report, uh, you know, the same list of values. So, sales of the customers between 2002, 12, 11, 23, and 2003, 7, 24. These are the values we are just displaying in the report. So by looking into the, these two titles, anyone can easily understand. This is the report for the sales of a customer and uh, the values uh, the values are from 2002, 2002 11th month, from 2002 11th month and 2003 7th month. So something like that you got an idea by, by, by seeing the reports. Okay. So, so this is nothing but you know, this uh, making this bold and this is nothing but uh, what what can you say? What can you say? This is nothing but formatting. So formatting is having another value that is nothing but sorting. So if you want to if you want to sort any based on any column, you can just based on order date, you can sort that column. Then you can apply here. Yes, go to this value. So provide once again the values. So what are the what are the values we have provided? So these will come in order value. Previously, you know, I think we have started with the seventh seventh month of the third month. So right now we are seeing the red value. So, so here you can see how many number of days, how many number of records we are having in in any number of days. So like this. So right now in each page, like something. No, no, no. Sometimes I see there is a Report with an empty page. So how do I remove that empty page? Empty page. I think there was problem with the report creation, uh, so much. So ah. unless and until unless and until uh, report will not be empty. There uh, is a problem no, with no, that like, like, like the la like the last page is empty, like uh, extra okay. page. Okay, okay, that may, that, that may be happens in sometimes. So. This is how we design a basic report. So how to work with that. So this is not a, uh, of course, this is a parameters report, but not a hundred percent. These are not a, uh, complete parameters. So in the SQL Server reporting services, we are having a two types of a parameters report. Not a parameter report. We have two, two types of a parameters. One is the report parameters, and the second one is the data set parameters. So these are the data set parameters. So data set parameters. Will filter the, at that at the time of a query execution level, but the report parameters will be executed at the report level. So suppose like you know if the data set is having the parameters, the data itself is filtered at the time of the at the time of uh, input is given to the report. So before before giving the input to the report, the data is got filtered. But report parameters is like so after the after the report get the data, then only the data is filtered. So this is a, this is the actual difference between the report parameter as well as the data set parameter. Both are different. Today we have seen only the report the report data set parameters. Oh, sorry, today we have seen only the data set parameters. Then tomorrow we will see the actual uh, actual report parameters. So so here we I want to do one kind of uh, testing.
What was Subhash's question, Narendra? Subhash's question is like, you know, uh, if you open the if you open the preview, so some of the pages look, looking empty. Okay. So.